I can't follow my wrestling because I'm not on the, on all the places. And I'm realizing WWE is too big, man. It's too big. I've talked about this. You know, I you know, I, I guess I kind of defend Raw when we're sitting there on the wrap ups on Monday nights, right? Um, and you know this firsthand. What do I say? What do I usually say? Raw is for the the person that that the casual fan, right? That yeah. tunes in. The, the Raw is the thing they're going to tune into, right? You know, and, and 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 they're not making that show for the person, for the insane people like this foursome, uh, and all you guys in the chat room, and probably most of you guys listening that will sit there for three hours on Monday night and absorb wherever the hell they're putting at us, right? Um, that's that's the right motion right there. Um, uh, you know, but on top of that, listen, I made the commitment. We do a show about it. I'm going to watch your program. We we do more than one show about sort. But well, maybe a couple. But when you promise me a Rusev special announcement, and I see the headline, and I say, "Well, I'm not going to click on that because it sounds like you know the you know his announcement coming up tonight, right? It sounds like a little spoiler, dirt sheet crap, right? Turns out I should have clicked on it because it wasn't addressed on Raw. Period." Nope. What if Rusev is my favorite wrestler? I, I wonder what if I'm re- if wait, anybody, wait, wait, what do you mean, what if? <laughs> <laughs> He's a TV champion. Come on. <laughs> what if what if Rusev is like, well, gee, that's something for me to hang on to. You know? Is that that's why a, they got new monitors so they can turn Rusev's monitor into a belt? Maybe. It's just, sorry. It's just, sorry, complete sidetrack, Sorry, Go on. Continue your rant. It's just, it's just, Rusev's a new crane. I was going to say, no, it's just, it's just a giant TV monitor with like a, just an a old rope around it. Just <laughs> but He th- throws it over his shoulders. But the thing <laughs> that might have entertained me, you know, Rusev doing things, um, wasn't even on Raw. It was on social nope. media. There's the YouTubes. There's the WWE Networks. There's all this stuff. Now I got to go go watch Roadblock for nine ninety nine. Um, there, there's so much stuff that happens on WWE.com. I mean, how many times have we said, um, "Oh, why aren't they doing what, what?" You know, you think Stardust is jobber to the stars if you just watch Raw every week. Yet he's having competitive matches on Superstars. He's having that moment over on Superstars. Okay, that is the thing that I watch three times if I leave the TV on WWE Network on Friday nights. Okay. And fall asleep to it, and then I just watch random parts of superstars because that's what I keep walking. I keep waking up to every replay at a different spot. Yeah. <laughs> also, that fucking John Cena special this past weekend was pissing me off too. I was great the first time, but then I kept like tuning in at the exact same part where he's signing the photos like three times throughout the weekend, and just like it's just like cable. Sorg, it's just like cable. Sorg. It's just like cable. So you know you can you can restart that. Whole point is, Mike, <laughs> that Sorg wants to watch things happen. Um, and the Sorg, they happen. Sorg, I I have another point about your social media thing that's not going to make you happy. Oh no. Um. So I'm on Snapchat because because I'm a millennial, and uh, I follow he, WWE on Snapchat because he's a dude and he's on yeah. Snapchat. Yeah. yeah. Draw your um, conclusions. The WWE Snapchat is normally god awful. But tonight, tonight, it's big tonight. Like I should check right this now. Out. Like, oh. It is Biggie's birthday. Oh, God. <laughs> so oh, no. the New Day has taken over the WWE Snapchat. Where's my USB? We got a Snapchat this. now. Yeah. And <laughs> they, they have been doing various things with. Uh, for, for those of you who aren't on Snapchat, there's a thing where you can tap your face and you can make your face do weird things. Uh, uh, Renee uh, Young on Instagram switched her face with R Truth, uh, which is all kinds of awkward. Yeah, R Truth dropped an F bomb. All kinds of awkward. Um, I never want to see Renee Young in blackface before, uh, but apparently that's a thing technically. Wow. Uh, actually, Katie was here tonight. If you follow Dutters on Twitter, um, and just Dutters is her username. Actually, you can look her up right now. If, if I don't believe that's her username, I believe it's Dudsy. Oh, I thought it was. Wait, she might have changed it then. Yeah, it's okay. I, I got you covered, Sork. But uh, anyway, well, if you follow so on, the WWE on Snapchat. Um, but, but no, she was. But, but I'm, I'm saying that she was doing that. Um, 
She was doing the face swap thing. Yeah, doing face swap thing with Gonzo and Roman Reigns. Everyone follow her on Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. And they're puking right It's it's right there. It's right there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There it is. That's that's strange. That's strange. That's that's actually a WWE Cup. And is that is that the there's a Sergeant Slaughter Slaughter mixed with mixed with Katie. Um, Yes. So so they're they're doing this. But on WWE's um. Let's just say Biggie Langston, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods are uh, using the unicorn filter <laughs> to great, great success. Uh, it's just them dancing, dressed as unicorns. And I believe Kofi, Kofi was trying to sing Happy Birthday in the voice of a goat. Because oh, I wow. think that's how he thinks unicorns sound. Oh, no. Yep, like that. Uh, we promise we're going to talk about wrestling tonight so, at some point. <laughs> this is wrestling related. <laughs> it's wrestling related. <laughs> wow. It's this wrestling is wrestling. It's, it's wrestling adjacent. It, it is. Is how are how are wrestlers using social media and how is WWE using social media? Uh, totally. Again, Biggie, if you, Biggie as a unicorn on Snapchat literally made me laugh out loud. Here, sure. Here's the thing. Everything that you and, see. And again, why does it think Sword needs to be angry about? <laughs> No, because Sorg. I'm missing stuff because I just want to watch my wrestling like a good old boy. Sword. Why don't you why don't you send them a tout to complain about it? <laughs> you know, what you gotta do is all you gotta do, Sorg, is make a post to WWE on Etsy. <laughs> I don't know how Etsy works. Sorg, Sorg. No, Sorg, what you have to do is so you have to cool. find you have to find Vince McMahon on LinkedIn and do not endorse his skills for social media. Then you then you sew them a quilt and sell it on Etsy. I'm, da- I'm downloading buys it. I'm downloading Now, Cal. once you get to the Big E photo, uh, you have to swipe right, and <laughs> 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 that will send a smoke signal to Stanford. <laughs> this segment was brought to you by millennials. <laughs> it's like the movie's <laughs> Rube Goldberg machine. Only we're gonna call it the Bill Goldberg machine. I'm so glad I have you. <laughs> Spear jackhammer. <laughs> Spear jackhammer. Bowling ball rolls down the thing. Spoiler alert: Goldberg is a smokescreen when he inhales that toxic smoke from the fireworks. <laughs> when he runs out of steam, he just becomes Ryback. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> and and full circle. Um, full circle University. <laughs> Jesus. Time is a flat circle. Do, okay, yes. so either way, you're watching the new day. You're watching well, Rusev apparently, Lana, the, definitely Lana in this case. You're watching our Monday Night Raw superstars, whatever the case may be. It's the very much the tip of the iceberg, especially these ones that are doing it right, especially ones that you can be a fan of, like the new day, right? Right? Mm-hmm. You, you guys following me on this? So, yes. um. Yes. So I guess I need to encourage the idea more um, that follow New Day on everything. First of all, you should follow the New Day individually on whatever social media platform. You should start using certain social media platforms because Pinterest. Uh, Pinterest. <laughs> no, WWE <laughs> is it does have a presence on Pinterest. By the way, I don't know if you've ever looked at it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> have you looked at this? No, I am not. I'm Hold scared. On, I'll see if I can pull this up. Um, well, it, it gets weird. It gets a little weird because you start with just like like um, uh, like I went down this this rabbit hole one time because you, you're like, oh, there's pictures of everybody and there's divas, and then you follow like start clicking on like maybe AJ Lee pictures, right? And then like you get to the people that are posting pictures about AJ Lee, but they're awkwardly just like pictures of her butt hanging out and and like like weird candidates of of her butt. And so it's basically Tumblr. Well, yeah, yeah, basically. Although I gotta say, I'm on the WWE Tough Enough. Or, yeah, I'm on the WWE uh, Pinterest page, and I'm noticing that Tough Enough still has a very big presence on here. So maybe they haven't really been rolling with this. Uh, That's the uh, Tough Enough's on Geo Cities. Oh yeah, exactly. And Angel Fire. Oh WWE Slam City. That's 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 good too. <laughs> That's good too. Oh, there you go. Beach, beach ready, and there's a uh, there's a lot of bikini stuff going on there. Um, um, yeah, I don't know. I I I don't know. I actually follow all of these. It seems you can only get there through Netscape Navigator, Bobby, or through GeoCities, Bobby. 
Side note, side note when, I don't know. I can't even remember what part of it so we're talking about. Well, are we going to talk about Wave of Mania? About what? Wait, what? Oh, the thing with the penguins. Yeah, yeah. There's, there, the, the, the how WWE Studios, this has nothing to do with social media, but WWE Studios partnering with, uh, uh, what's the movie called? Dreamworks. Oh, Surf's Up 2. Sur- they're making oh, yeah. a Surf's Up 2, the WWE thing. Wave of Mania. If, what? if Jerry Lawler is not an Emperor Penguin, they have triple. The they, they released the the, the promotional uh, image of it with Vince, Triple H, John Cena, The Undertaker, and and Paige as penguins. Triple H is a giant penguin. Mm-hmm. The Undertaker is a penguin in a hat with a casket. This is um okay. Why? Okay, is this going to? Th- is this straight to video or it has to be straight uh, to video? I would assume so. This is a very be morbid to children's video. movie if that penguin has a casket. <laughs> I love that they went from Scooby Doo and the Flintstones to Surf's Up to. <laughs> yeah, seriously, what, uh, why did we like skip over He Man? I mean, come on. WrestleMania yeah. or, or uh, WWE Orca. Orca, not Orca. Orca's a whale. Hey, well, tie in Orca's a whale that eats penguins. <laughs> God. Uh, that that's when we bring in the Undertaker's casket. I'm sorry, I'm still I'm 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 still digesting this. I'm I I'm still <laughs> I'm looking at these pictures and I I I'll say I'm 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 looking at these pictures. I'm I'll scroll for you guys on video. Um that page design, what the hell? Um <laughs> Yeah, seriously, she doesn't look like she owns anyone's house. No. <laughs> and there's no and there's, this is my glue. If that joke's not made in the movie, then then they can. And then there's. They fail. And then what's the? And then where are the? The voice voice they voice a crew called the Hang Five. They should have at least made Kalisto, and then you could have a penguin and a lucha mask. I don't understand. Okay, so we're taking such a niche cartoon about penguins being on the beach, <laughs> and making it even more niche. I would have rather seen Madagascar 3. Roll 34, somebody's into that. So not only are we going to have to buy that there is this mythical world where penguins somehow made it in a beach setting, but now that wrestling penguins made it on a beach setting. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, Eamon, let's be fair. If Lucha Underground can make us believe that there's a giant cave Oh, please. Oh, yeah. please. No, no, no. I'm serious. I'm serious. Hear me out. Robert Rodriguez. I want Robert Rodriguez to direct Surf's Up 2. <laughs> Me too. I want that too, Eamon. More than oh, you could have. I really hope Legends of the Hidden Temple is a backdoor pilot movie for Lucha Underground. Let's be fair about this. Because <laughs> you know that's a movie, right? They're making a Legends hey. of the Hidden Temple movie. Mm-hmm. Wow. I want Dario Cueto to, start in, to star in it. And for Olmec to turn into Matanza somehow. I don't know how that happens, but I think we need it to. Cobra Moon can be one of the silver snakes. Guys, I want to be oh. com- Guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'll probably end up buying the movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And sold. Surf's up sword. Hang ten. I've never even, I've never even seen Surf's Up one. I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> the wait, so, so the Undertaker is actually going to voice this one and not be like a character that grunts so they don't have to use I it? I don't know if they're well, voicing it. Well, Taker was in the Flintstones one, wasn't he? Triple H is voiced. Wait, they, they, they didn't voice the Flintstones I they, one. Uh, I remember. Well, not, not Taker. Like, they, there were characters in there that they just didn't have voices because they didn't really yeah. say anything. Um, oh. You Rock. can tell I didn't see the Flintstones one. Mike, well, Mike, no, what? I'm trying to think because I saw the Scooby-Doo one. Mike, yeah, I said Carter Scooby. was... Sid Cara was in that one. He didn't have a voice. Yeah, and then they made him a mute. <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Sin Cara, Sin Cara in, uh, to me, Sin Cara's origin in Scooby-Doo, WrestleMania, um, is, can- canon. is canon. It's, it's yeah. canon to me. So, and, and I get pissed whenever something, like when he talked, like, it was like a year ago, he talked or something, right? And he was speaking English. I was like, oh, that's bullshit. I'm cold.